Hello there, Aquarius. Welcome. Well, we're going to do a mid-April love reading. So let's see what's going on. Oh, they're coming out already. Look at this. Okay, this started already. Okay. So we started out with unseen factors. And you have a connection with someone. You have a very spiritual connection. Telepathic. So you share the, this telepathic connection. You cannot be ignored. Your words are slowly leaving imprints upon their heart. And this is unseen fact that there's more to this love story, though you cannot see it now. There's still much more to unfold. Okay, well, I'm going to just leave those together since they came out on their own there. And now let's see. What is crossing you? We have release. When they set you free, they felt this thing from your absence. Don't let their silence fool you. Okay. You know, we have really deep connection. And there's unseen factors. You know... Wow, I'm getting chills. There's something you do not know. And it almost feels like this person has a way of keeping you in the dark. Or, or they're very quiet about things. And that's what probably broke you up. Because they weren't opening up. Okay, now let's we'll see what's going on here. We have the witch. They see how powerful and magical you are. And sometimes they wonder if you have them under a spell. Mm hmm. I don't think you have them under a spell. It's just this is a very strong connection. Okay, now we have, in the recent past, we have resurrection. What you thought to be lost forever will come back and you'll witness the impossible made possible. So this is in the recent past. So this is in the process then. Because this is talking about the future, more or less. What you thought to be lost forever will come back. But since it's in the recent past, I would say that's come back real soon. Okay, so someone's trying to come back into your life. And then crowning you, we have sexual union. Their greatest sex memory is with you. But it's more than just sex. It's their memory of feeling so close to you. That's because of strong connection. You're with someone that you have that very strong connection. It's, it's more intense. Everything is intensified. So during sex, it's just totally off the charts. Okay, now coming in in their future, we have gossip. There's a lot of gossip that surrounds this relationship that is affecting your only... That is affecting not only their judgment, but their vision, too. Yeah, I think there's people on their side that start trouble. It almost feels like I'm getting such chills. I'm feeling like these, these people are just miserable. They like drama. They're miserable. And they know that your connection was really strong. And they're jealous of it. Because they never experienced that. And they never seen that with anybody else. But they knew that you guys had... You could even tell by looking at you two when you are together... This is so strong. It was just a tense relationship. And everybody was jealous of it because they never experienced that. Okay, now we have, at last, they don't want you to give up now when you come this far because it will all be worth it in the end. They're trying to make their way towards you and they're almost there. But you might have been waiting a very long time for this. But there's so many things that kept on getting in the way. There's obstacles. And the obstacles were actually for the betterment of this connection. It was to prevent you from being together prematurely it had to happen at a certain time at the right time resistance they need time to answer the call of their soul and step into the higher levels of consciousness but you know what this resistance is your energy they feel your resistance and so that is they they know they they need to be with you they know that they feel like you're meant to be together but they do feel your resistance here This person is going through like a, a upgrade or a spiritual awakening. Because I think you already have your spiritual awakening, but they're not on the same page as you. So now they have come in part. Meeting you was unexpected. You changed their whole world forever. Feeling lost as they lose their own identity. Yet yeah, things shift and change once they met you. And you brought them up to a higher level. But you know, they couldn't stop saying that. It was like they... They kept on getting pulled in, dragged into this other energy, this energy around them. So they tried to be in your energy. And this was like, oh my God, these people were pulling at them, trying to drag them back down is what I'm feeling. I'm, I'm, feel, I'm seeing someone trying to climb up and they're like, no, I'm pulling them back, saying, no, you belong here. You don't belong there because they're jealous. It's like if someone was in a lion pit and you were able to get out, or this person was able to get out. And they're saying no. Because they're it's like you. 
someone points and you can leave and they're like no 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 you can't leave us don't leave us here and that's what that's a really weird but that's why i'm getting shown <laughs> okay now boundaries they love that you set strong boundaries for yourself and walked away from those who don't respect them including them yes you have set very strong boundaries it feels like recently you you came to realization you don't deserve the treatment that you're getting from some people around you so you're like you know what you're cutting them off if they're not treating you correctly or there's something that is not vibing with your energy it's going to bring your energy down so you're looking out for yourself it's about time you're always looking out for others now you're looking out for yourself and i said dealt a bad hand they wish they met you at a different time because they feel they never get to see what the connection could have been yeah because of this energy at the time you met you definitely were meant to meet at the time you met and then you're supposed to go into separation now whether or not you guys you know went through your whatever energies and whatever you had to do in each of your own lives to come back now that will be you know seeing what comes in here and this is what this person's going to always think that they're the victim and they can't change their life well then it's not going to work with you because you already achieved a higher status as far as your energy and your vibration so if you guys aren't on the same page with your vibration it's not going to work so if they didn't measure up and and step up to the plate here and try to up their um, vibration it's not going to it's not going to work and then we have power couple they see that both of you have an equal exchange of power which can make you unstoppable as a couple well, they might be doing very well in whatever they're doing and you're doing very well and they can see this working together but they have to be on the same page with you and then we have the rival they chose someone else over you and thought though it wasn't what they wanted they thought it was the right thing to do they didn't think they measured up to you they didn't think that they were in the same status as you so they figured this is safe i'll go with this person because i can't achieve the same thing that i can with aquarius okay now let's clarify we have the this connection that you have that unseen factor so let's see why do we have that here for aquarius and we have the ten of pentacles ultimate achievement see there is a connection that's so strong here that this could be a lifetime commitment with you and them but things have to fall into place they have to be right they have to be you guys have, guys have to be on the same page though but this is what you could achieve together why do we have the release here ten of, wow ten of pentacles ten of cups you know this is a contempt and joy this is a lot of happiness but they have to release something here with this release card you know they, they see you as their ten of cups their wish fulfillment contentment and joy they just they need to they need to do a lot of work is whether or not they did it and about what about this witch card why is a witch card here knight of cups okay so they're planning on coming to you with an offer and romantic gestures they're gonna make a romantic gesture because they feel like they just can't get away from it with this witch card here that they they're drawn to you and they're thinking you're doing something you're not doing something this is the universe this is your connection this is i think you guys have past life connections and it's coming back around so knight of cups is scorpio cancer pisces could be anyone here okay now what about this resurrection in the recent past why do we have this card here three of swords yeah because there was a, a breakup here there was pain there was a third party situation which in this case you know i it, always feel like with the Aquarius I feel like it's more than one person some of you could have someone cheated but this feels to me like there's more than one there's like a group that was really very jealous of this connection and they kept on trying to break you guys up and finally it happened and you probably just got had enough of it because I think it's on their side that their family or their friends or somebody here was kept on starting trouble and trying to you know and they thought it was fun they liked the drama you know what about this sexual union king of pentacles you could be dealing with taurus virgo capricorn here this they feel like this is a very stable connection very reliable this is like very intense very grounded but also extremely sexual and intense but it also felt like they they were grounded when they were with you in sexual union it felt really weird it felt like they they had this amazing feeling but they also felt safe and grounded okay now um what about 
this gossip. Why do we have this gossip here? We have the Eight of Cups evolving. Yeah, this this is walking away from this, this energy. So when this comes in in the future, because that is a card that comes in the future, just going to walk away from it. This person might also be saying, you know what? You're not doing this to me anymore. I'm not, you know, I just need to walk away from you, whether it's family, whether it's friends, whether whatever it is that is causing this trouble. It's not going to be in there anymore because it's going to be completely cut off. Okay, at last. Okay, they don't want you to give up. Let's clarify this. Wheel of Fortune, Destined Opportunity. They feel you guys are destined to be together. In divine time, this is going to happen. Now that we have the 10, 10, 10, you have a lot of completion going on here. Okay, now what about this card is the resistance. And this is your energy. The way people see you. You're resisting this connection. So let's see. Ten of Swords. Wow, another ten. Okay, you're definitely completing a lot of things. Things are coming to an end. So this this was a painful ending. That's why you were resisting this. And um, they know that. And they're trying to do what they need to do here. Because they know we have the Three of Swords. We have Ten of Swords. Very painful ending. And again, I'll read this. They need time to answer the call of their soul and step into higher levels of consciousness. That's it. Because you're closing them off, keeping this closed until they come in the correct way. Okay, coming apart. And we have the hermit, soul searching. See, they this person, you forced them to go into their soul to search here. Because it's coming apart. Meeting you was the unexpected. You changed their whole world forever. Feeling lost as they lose their own identity. That's why they have to find themselves. Because the identity that they thought they were living was really not their truth. So you forced them into going within looking into their soul and find out who they really are and this is virgo energy here okay what about the boundaries why are the boundaries here your independence these you're setting up your boundaries you are independent they know you don't need them you're doing well on your own you're you know you're self-reliant independent you know you don't need their whatever they're trying to bring to you. So if they're bringing you this drama, you're not going to accept it. So they have to come in correct. Okay, now this dealt a bad hand. Cycle completed. Okay, so maybe when they come in now, maybe they got out of this energy, this victim energy. They got dealt a bad hand and everything was so bad. And this is an ending to start something new here. This cycle completion. Now, it's weird because we got all these tens, which means there's a lot of endings. And then we got this cycle completion. So this person's trying to come back in. What about this power couple? Why is power couple here? Ace of Swords, breakthrough and awareness. Okay, so this person's going to come in with the truth now. They're going to come towards you and you're, there's going to be breakthroughs and there's going to be the truth coming out. And then maybe you can start from scratch. It's almost like you have to break everything down. The devil. I'm Actually, I, they are obsessed over this. Capricorn energy. I was almost expecting to see the tower saying that this has to all be broken down, right down to the ground and rebuilt. A fresh start without all this other energy and without these people that intruded into your connection that caused a lot of havoc. That because of their insecurities and their... Um, drama that they like to, to always bring wherever they go. Okay, let's see. I'm going to take a... So what's the word on? Where's the people that we have? Okay, we'll do this Knight of Cups. What's the word on this Knight of Cups? So I haven't done the word for you. Let's see. What's the word? We have confused, committed, together. Okay, so they're confused about something here. Of course, about this energy, how they how they feel so strong about you. But they do feel committed to you. They feel like you are meant to be together. And that's very strong in your energy. Okay, what about this King of Pentacles? We have, is it? Thoughts? Finish. Oh, they're thinking, is it finished or is there a chance here? That's what their thoughts are. They want to know if it's finished or if they have a, an opportunity. If you would give them an opportunity to try to bring this back. I think that's it I have for the... Yeah, so that's it for you guys for that. All right. So now let's see what signs do we have for you guys. What are the signs? Well, I would expect this person to come back around. But they had to do a lot of spiritual growth to understand this connection in order to be... 
on your level here. Okay, so through the devil card, they're obsessing over this connection and over you. Let's see, what we have here Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Cancer, Cancer, and we have Libra. So these are the signs that can be placements in your chart, placement in their chart, placement in other people's charts, especially if these other people are trying to instigate and, and break, keep you apart or break you apart or whatever it is in your circumstances. So we have Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Cancer, Cancer, and Libra. Okay, now for the letters. Let's see what initials could be first, middle, or last names, past, present, or future people. We have an S. H. Q, oh, the two came out together. Okay, N and M, I, A, Z, R, I, no more, and A. So your letters for today are S H Q N M I A C R I A. Now for the names. Let's see what names we get for you guys. What are the names? Come on. Get some on here. Take even up here. We have Stephanie, Colleen with two L's, Dory, D O R Y. We have Letty, L-E-T-T-Y. We have Janae, J-A-N-A-I. We have Vontonio, B-O-N-T-O-N-I-O. -O -O. We have Christine, Kirst, I'm sorry, Kirsteen, K-I-R-S-T-E-E-N. We have Jeanette, J-E-A-N-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. We have Bouchon, B-H-O-O-S-H-A-N. We have Kevin, and I'm short one. Okay, let me just drag, grab one from the bottom. And we have Jerry, G-E-R-R-Y. Okay, so those are your names. And remember, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave me comments. I love you guys. I appreciate all your love, your likes, your strikes, and your comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.